Professor Gumble here, and today I'm teaching a lesson about Black Desert Online's piss poorly introduced nodes, workers, and housing. So grab your smartphones, your spitballs, and make sure you're sitting way in the back of the room. Alright, here we go. If you look at your map, you'll notice every encampment is marked by a circle. That's a node. Think of nodes as points of interest. They have creatures to slaughter and resources to gather. You activate nodes by investing contribution points in them. And you earn contribution points by doing quests. In fact, that's pretty much the only reason to quest, because they don't reward much experience at all. You can see your total contribution points in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Every city is already an activated node. The goal is to activate nodes around the city. If they're too far away though, you have to activate intermediary nodes in order to form a big, happy chain of connected nodes. Now, activating a node is super easy. You talk to the node manager NPC and click node management. In the top left-hand corner, you can see contribution invest. Click it and bam, it's activated. But you can withdraw those points at any time because contribution points aren't consumed. You always have them, you just have to uninvest them. If you zoom out, you can then see a golden ribbon connecting your node to the rest of the chain, showing that it's activated. What's the point? Okay, well, let's take a look at this node. There are two resources here, herb, and then there's ash timber. Now that I've activated the node, I can activate additional resource nodes. By clicking on the ash timber icon, I invest one contribution point allowing me to send one of my bald peons to slaughter some ash timber. The timber that he farms is automatically stored in my warehouse, which I can then use in crafting. It's a neat system that allows me to avoid mindlessly chipping away at resources and level up crafting. How do you hire workers? Well, you talk to a work supervisor, typically found in the city. In Vilja, it happens to be Santo Manzi, you talk to him and hit Contract Worker to cycle through available employees. Unfortunately, I already have too many workers. But if I look at my worker list, I can see that each worker has a special ability that makes them suited for a specific task. So you want to optimize what worker is performing what task based on their specialization. Now you start with one worker. To hire more workers, you have to invest in lodgings. So contribution points aren't only used for nodes, but for investing in residences within a city. If I click into Vilja, I can see a whole bunch of house icons. If I click one, the blue one, the only one I'm not already invested in, I see five uses for the house. Storage, horse ranch, weapon workshop, armor workshop, and residence. There are so many, but I can only choose one. Each residence only gets one purpose. I click storage, and underneath I see there's a contribution cost, two and it will take two minutes to invest in this house. So I purchase storage and the ticker starts to count down. When it's done, I'll have more space in my warehouse. If I look at another house, I can see where I'm invested in lodging. And you can see there are two spheres or two levels of lodging available, and I'm invested in both, which allows me to have two additional workers. But residences are also used as workshops, where you can craft materials into larger items. Here's a house that I've turned into a refinery. If I hit Manage Crafting, I can assign one of my workers to create blackstone powder from rough stones stored in my workshop. Each crafted item takes a certain amount of time to create, so you have to plan with prudence, knowing that each craft is not instantaneous. There's one last thing to note when it comes to nodes. Connected nodes offer you better prices when trading in cities and between cities. If I talk to Bashar, the trade manager here in Vilja, I can see that if I sell my trout, I'm only going to be able to sell it for 30% of its value. And that's because the Kron Castle node isn't activated. If I look at my map, I can see where Kron Castle is. Running up to that node and activating it will enable, enable me to sell my trout for maximum profit. So the goal is to use connected nodes to be sure that you can sell your items for the maximum amount of zenny. That's my short overview of nodes and residences in Black Desert. Hopefully that's been helpful. 
I promise it's not as daunting as it seems at first, or at least how the game makes it, and it's actually quite addictive and fun. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment, and be sure to check out the full review on MMOs.com. Alright guys, see ya!